effectively the sport industry has uh, closed down. So we're certainly looking at millions of dollars, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars. And I guess in, in uh, extreme cases, we might argue even more. And, and particularly when we begin to think about the Olympic Games and the amount of money that was spent on preparing for the Olympic Games, these are big numbers that we're talking about. This really is a, a, an important moment for sport because big sponsors, commercial partners, one of the reasons that they associate with, uh, with sport is, is eyeballs. And if people are not looking at sport simply because there's no sport there, then companies will begin to question whether they're getting a return on investment for, for the money that they've spent on sport. And so, again, if, if, if the crowds and if the drama, the action are not there, if the passion's not there, then again, I think some of these sponsors will question whether or not sport was or, or still is the passion driver that it was. If it doesn't take place next year, uh, there will be huge legal ramifications. And I think well, this has been one of the tensions that has characterised uh, this pandemic period, not just with the Olympics, but I think with other events too, UEFA Euros, uh, which were due to take place this summer. You've obviously got leagues and competitions like the English Premier League. It's trying to resolve some of the potential conflicts, legal conflicts, and some of the contradictions when it comes to legal rights. My sense of Chinese sport over the last three or four months is that uh, it has been very cautious in its approach, very cautious in what it's doing. What we've seen over the last week is Chinese football and the Chinese Super League issuing instructions as to what will happen when the season starts again. And this is quite striking, really, when you consider that Chinese football hasn't played so far this year, uh, and yet German football today is restarting again. Part of, the, part of the core product in sport are fans. So we, we co-create the product. So the excitement, the tension, the drama, the noise, the, uh, the, the, the anxiety, the happiness, um, we are all part of creating that product. And so if there are no fans inside the stadium, you might argue that it's no longer sport. It's a, it's a different type of product. We're seeing a number of different solutions. Drive-in football, where football matches are shown on screens to people sat in their, their cars in car parks. We've got a great example today in the Bundesliga of one club having sold cardboard cutouts of fans uh, to sit on seats. So fans could actually have a, a cardboard cutout made of themselves and put on their normal seats. Yeah.